Okay, let's go back to Josh now. He's also in Miami this morning, headed tonight's big college football championship game. Josh, you got Notre Dame, you got Alabama. What an epic rivalry. 25 national championships between them. <laughs> In the offing, George, it is a dream matchup, as you mentioned, both for a network and most of a nation. It is the game everybody wants to see. Not surprising, then, that tickets for tonight's game here in Miami at Sun Life Stadium are at a premium. Seats going. Prepare yourself for an astonishing $60,000 on StubHub, and that was just yesterday. Those prices could be going up. Seats that aren't prime viewing, really up here in the nosebleeds, almost $1,000 a piece, all to get as close as possible to right here to this field for a game for the ages. They are two of college football's most storied programs. The blue and gold fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both schools steeped in tradition almost a century in the making, tracing the legacies of Newt Rockman and Bear Bryant. Off the field, theirs is a clash of cultures perhaps like no other, pitting North versus South. The matchup snarkily reduced to this now infamous summation, Catholics versus Cousins. Others have called it Rudy versus Forrest Gump. Right. Notre Dame's most famous alum and arguably biggest fan, Regis Philbin, Crimson Tide's biggest fan, former Alabama quarterback, Broadway Joe Dane. To me as a fan, it's wonderful. You know, for the players, of course, uh, it's got to be a dream come true to win a championship, to be in position to win a championship. Number two, Alabama is looking to win its second straight national title and a third in four years. We're here to win a football game. It's going to be a very challenging game, no doubt. Standing in its way, undefeated Notre Dame, looking for its first national title in a quarter century, and more important, to retake its place among college football's elite. What will it mean for Notre Dame if it wins a title? Well, it'll mean a great deal to the students because the students identify with their years in school by where they finished in football. And with an estimated 25 million people expected to tune in, it's a mammoth production for hundreds of ESPN staffers, including the senior producer in charge yeah. of it all. For you personally, this game, what's it going to mean to you? This is just to be part of a huge team that does something like this and see the payoff. and It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's what you do it for. That was my friend Lee Fitting, and again, in talking to him and, and other executives uh, here yesterday, they made it clear what is going to happen here tonight will be nothing less than the biggest event in the history of ESPN. They expect it to be the most watched program in cable television history. It is fair to say a nation, guys is ready for some football. No question about it, Josh. I mean, both of these teams have armies of fans behind them all across the country. Yeah, and it's interesting, as I traveled here from New York City with something of a metaphor for the game, I looked around uh, at JFK in New York and thought, wow, Notre Dame is real, really traveling well uh, from the north, coming from the big cities. But then when we got down here, it seems like the entire city of Tuscaloosa has relocated. The entire state of Alabama <laughs> is here. I tell you what, they are ready. Uh, the hype is done. Let's play some football. It's going to be a spectacular night. And, of course, that is all on ESPN tonight.